Welcome everyone to Weekend Escapades. We are in Grafton, Utah, an amazing ghost town at the mouth of Zion. Grafton is a historic Mormon settlement, seven miles from Springdale on the way to Zion. It is surrounded by orchards and farmlands. The town hasn't been occupied since the 1940s, but it is well preserved and continues to be well taken care of. Grafton is sitting on the south side of the Virgin River. There are five original buildings still standing in Grafton, and it was established in 1859. Although very beautiful, life here was very difficult due to floods and attacks from Indians and harsh winters. What we're looking at here is the church and schoolhouse, and it is well preserved, and there's information looking into the window and the construction is awesome. This home was the Alonzo Russell home, a two-story dwelling with an amazing veranda out front. Let's take a look on the inside. This is the Louisa Russell home. Just take a look at the detail here and the rustic lumber and heavy cut timbers. We've traveled to many areas and seen quite a few ghost towns. And when we started documenting, some ghost towns have kind of a spooky feeling and sometimes a little bit of a scary feeling in some of the buildings that you may enter. But here in Grafton, it is absolutely beautiful and you get a warm feeling from what we call here a ghost town. When you look at the buildings and you look at the absolute beauty of the surroundings, you will enjoy Grafton. I invite everyone to come take a look.
Now this is the fourth of the five buildings you'll see. I do not know the name exactly of this building, but it is sitting by itself on the corner here in Grafton, across the street from the church and school. And it looks to me like this one has been well preserved and completely restored. Uh, so I don't know exactly how much of this building is original and how much is remade, but it is still made just like the other buildings and will soon travel into the fifth building and the barns. This amazing tree is sitting right outside of the building. And if a tree could tell stories, I'd sit all day long and listen to the stories this one could tell. Now, this is building number five. Again, I do not have a name for this dwelling, but the construction is amazing. The views from this location, uh, you know, just absolutely uh, beautiful. And of course, all of this area is at the mouth of Zion, so every angle that you look at is just uh, just, just really cool. So uh, take a look with us. I think there's like four fireplaces in this building, and then we're going to take you out to the barns out back. those amazing buildings out back the barns uh, on the back of the property the heavy timber and the construction is really something to see now Grafton is absolutely beautiful and we don't realize how difficult it was due to floods and Indian attacks in the harsh winters but when you're standing there and seeing all the beauty you start thinking about all the activity that happened here and then when you visit the cemetery as we're going to do here at the end it really becomes interesting to hear the stories as many as 84 grave sites fill the cemetery. Though some headstones are missing, the mid-1800s were very difficult times to survive. Some from deaths occurred from disease, such as tuberculosis and others, and some from accidents. There are many infant mortality. The rate was very high back then. So you will see the graves of many younger individuals scattered among the older residents. And you'll see here there will be a plot that's going to be surrounded by some posts and wood. And in that plot is the grave of Robert Berry, Isabella, and the brother Joseph, all killed by Indians in 1866. Some say when you visit the cemetery late in the day or when there is an overcast sky that they have heard crying, laughter, and some of this of children and chilling screams of a woman who will occasionally be seen here in the cemetery. They say she appears to be sobbing, but people think that it is somebody in a costume as part of the ghost town. Now, these are stories that I have heard and stories that I have read, but I have no account firsthand. Thank you for visiting Grafton with us today. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Until next time, Goodbye from Weekend Escapades.